many of you have children you will be surprised that in spite of this crowd if you hear the voice the sound of your child your child's voice all of a sudden something in you is called jealousy It's more than compassion jealousy what's happening and you want to find out what is happening so when you lift up your voice that's like a child calling his father if you are a child indeed god should not be silent when he hears you speak if you are a son indeed the bible says that hagar cried together with her young lad and strangely before her voice got to heaven the voice of the young lad had reached the heavens and god came and said what is going on here and she began to lament and suddenly an oasis came out of a desert hallelujah i know that god can arise for those who take him serious those who pray is it all right if we pray this morning it takes discipline it takes faith to pray but i assure you if and when we pledge our lives to pray the bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous it says it avails much it can produce power it can produce wonders i'm a product of the ministry of prayer i know what prayer can do if you pray and you pray with understanding and pray with faith you will disarm the powers of hell you will allow god to step in in dimensions beyond your imagination was it not in the book of acts the bible says how that the apostle was caught and kept in prison and then it says prayers were offered day and night in fact let's look at acts chapter 12 and then we arise to pray we need the god of wonders to show up for us acts chapter 12 we're reading the first 10 verses verse 1 please acts chapter 12 and verse 1 now about that time herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex Saturn of the church verse 2 and he killed james the brother of john with the sword and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then they were the days of unleavened bread uh-huh and when he had apprehended him the bible says he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending that after easter to bring him forth to the people peter therefore was kept in prison but hallelujah but prayer was made without season keyword without season of the church unto god for him and when herod would have brought him forth the same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison uh-huh and behold an angel of the lord came unto him in response to the prayer and a light shine in prison and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands and the angel said to him gird thyself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he was thought he saw a vision verse 10 and when and they were past the first and the second word or the gate then they came to the iron gate i don't know if i've shared this revelation in this church this is a mysterious gate because this is the gate that leads to influence the iron gate is the gate that stops influence when that gate is open the next thing that happens to you is the city must acknowledge the investment of god upon your life please listen this is a very powerful mystery without influence you cannot do much for the kingdom you need visibility for your business you need visibility for ministry you need visibility it's one thing to be anointed is one thing to be called but it's another thing to be accepted and embraced that the dimension of god committed to you there is a demand upon it but i tell you in the realm of the spirit there are iron gates just because you left the prison does not mean you are free please keep that scripture there verse 10 he says he came to the iron gate that leaded unto the city which opened to them 
of its own accord and they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed there are people as we pray this morning your businesses you have products and services that if people knew listen my my one of the dimensions of god's wonder that i pray will happen as we pray this morning is the grace for visibility there is a grace that can unveil a man like you unveil a product from a carton and lift him up like a trophy and say hear ye him it's a grace it's a grace that can come as the wonder working power of god whilst we pray hallelujah it says and it was noised abroad that jesus had come your products there are so many people here respectfully speaking you have done your best in terms of your intellectual preparation all you need now is to be connected through the mystery of visibility to the men and the women who need what you stand for and look how difficult it is without that grace there are people today there are people in this nation hallelujah there are people in this nation honestly if this grace should come upon them in addition to the value that they have the demand that will be placed upon your life your children and your children's children will eat from it but that grace is not there so many people die with gifts many people live with gifts there are some of you here you are not supposed to be where you are you are supposed to your your preparation demands that you should be in the palace there are worship ministers all across this nation sincere people well-meaning people but this grace for visibility is not there and they die with their gifts they sing you know i've heard a few people at a personal level and i i'm, I'm in shock why is the world not listening to you i have i have heard and seen men and women of god respectfully speaking i remember meeting i was uh, i think the the eastern part of this nation and i had the opportunity to talk with a dear woman and whilst we spoke you know i mean this woman came to me for counseling and for prayer but then i just had some time of conversation and i was almost going down my knees to say madam pray for me I'm, i think i'm the one who needs your grace but the grace for visibility please take serious what i'm saying life will be hard until men can see and discern what you represent it was bishop oyedeko that gave a story when they started remember when they started living faith how that for some reason it looked like they would not break through this iron gate and one time they prayed and whilst they were praying and fasting the lord asked him to step out and then he looked up and he saw a thick layer of darkness he says this is the layer that misinterprets what you represent and he rebuked it in the name of the lord it rolled like a curtain and boom I know families that are under the siege of this absence of visibility great people wonderful people well-meaning people but doors never open so whilst we're praying i want you to be angry this morning that this iron gate the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder praise the name of the